Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I did a video because of this corona and I have been busy. I hope each and every one of my viewers who usually keep updates to my channel and who watch my video, I hope you guys are being safe and protect yourself from the virus. Make sure you wash your hand, make sure you sanitize, always have a sanitizer in your bag. So when you're in public, if you touch anywhere, make sure you sanitize your, your hands when you come home. Make sure you wash your hands good with soap and water and um, protect yourself from the virus. So today I want to do a makeup video since I haven't had the chance to do one in a while. So I'm going to go ahead and start my brows and as usual. I'm using my Dip Brow and my MAC Concealer Studio Fix NYC42 and for my Dip Brow I'm using Ebony so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna comb my brows out then I'm gonna take my brush my flat brush and I'm gonna go in my dip brow and start outlining the bottom of my brows. Then I'm gonna go at my arch and I'm gonna give it the shape that I want. Now whatever product is left in my brush I'm just going to fill my brows now and at the front I'm just going to do like light strokes and now I'm going to take back my spoolie brush and I'm just going to comb my brows out because I don't want it to look too dark I just want to have a natural looking brows so I'm gonna comb out the brows and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for this one so when I do my brows now I try to make like a unibrow so when I'm gonna do my concealer and my foundation I'm just gonna take my unibrows out so now I'm going to use my brush, my flat brush. I'm going to take my concealer, conceal my eye. Um, the excess concealer. I'm gonna do the top so now I'm gonna take a blending brush and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try to blend on my concealer. So my brows are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my eyes. So I have these to put on my eyes. So these are shield. To do makeup so you just fix it under your eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my lids but first I'm gonna use some primer and just apply it on my
gonna take a, uh, a beauty blender and just blend this. Now I'm gonna set it with some setting powder. good for setting I'm just gonna leave it for a couple seconds and figure out what kind of look and colors that I want to use today so I have decided that I'll do a purple look and for that I'm gonna use my Murphy palette 39s so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I have these three colors one two three four colors here I'm gonna work with the purple colors so first off I'm gonna start with this the lighter the light color first and I'm gonna use it as like a transition color first I'm just blending this above my crease. And I just want to make sure I blend well. Because makeup is all about blending, playing with colors. I miss doing my makeup video. It's been a while. I hope and pray that they find a solution for this coronavirus as soon as possible. Because right now everybody is indoor. Kids are indoor from school. Family are home. Parents are away from work so now I'm gonna take uh, the darker purple and I'm gonna apply it at the tail of my lids So I am then darkening my tail of the eyes. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my concealer brush and I'm gonna do a cut crease. But for this cut crease, it's just gonna be at the front of my eyes. So I'm using this L'Oreal Paris wear uh, concealer for that because my lids are small I always go above so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eyes So now I'm gonna take uh, the light purple and I'm gonna apply it to the front of my eyes. I'm gently patting. This is more like a shimmery color. So I'm just trying to Uh, 
about it in front of my eyes. So that's what it looks like and I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do I have some shimmery white I'm just gonna lightly pat it at the top here and just try to blend it out a little like that now I'm gonna go line my eyes and for that I'm gonna use this tattoo liners it's by Kat Von so I'm just gonna line my eyes at the top I hope you guys are enjoying my purple look so far you just have to wait for the end result so now I'm gonna go apply some mascara for mascara, I'm using, I usually use like two or three different mascara. This is a L'Oreal mascara and this one is Ma Milani by Milani. Sometimes foundation gets on your lashes so I just want to make sure I blacking them a little before I apply my lashes. So now, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. So for lashes, I'm going to apply these Kisses uh, eyelashes from, I usually buy these from Walmart. So, I don't wear them, but like now if I'm going to do a makeup video, I just use them for my makeup videos because I don't wear fake lashes but just for my makeup videos I'm just gonna use them and take them off after so the glue I just apply my lashes so I'm waiting for my glue to get invincible because I'm using this dual glue so it's usually a white but when it's dry it usually disappear and turn invincible so now what I'm gonna do in the meantime that's drying I'm just gonna take out my shield and I'm gonna go prime my face so I'm gonna prime my face I'm using this primer by Heart Candy 12 hour protection my face is now clearing up I'm using turmeric with honey, lemon juice on my face and egg white. All ingredients you can find in your kitchen. And if you have breakouts or you suffer from acne and like is if you have like sensitive skin like mine that break out with the weather well then that remedy is the boss i only use it for two days now and my face is already clearing up with my breakouts So now that I prime my face, I'm just gonna get these off of my hands. I'm gonna use my Fit Me concealer 
and I am just going to apply some under my eyes. Cover these spots. And I'm just going to take my foundation brush and just blend these in. To cover my acne check out my different light and settings I bought a ring light This one is my favorite though. It's not lighting. Just make sure you get under your neck. So that way your foundation is gonna blend in. So now for foundation, I am home, so I'm not going anywhere because of the corona, so I'm just home i'm just gonna use my matte poreless foundation by maybelline this is fit me and i'm gonna pat it all over my face and this is where i take off my unibrow when i apply my foundation So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my beauty blender and what I usually do, I spray my setting spray. I'm using my setting spray by hard candy so I spray some on my bra on my beauty blender and I blend in my foundation in my face under my neck you see how the glue just disappear So now I'm going to use my Tarte Concealer and going to highlight my nose So these are basically the area that I want to be highlighted. So I'm going to use my sponge and I'm just going to buff these out. So now I'm going to set my highlight and I'm going to use this Kat Von setting powder. So I'm just going to let these sit for a bit and then I'm going to brush it out later. 
I'm gonna go do some contouring. And for contouring, I am using this HD Pro Revolution powder contour. I love the the liquid contour better than the powder but sometimes you have to try both blend out my contour now now I'm gonna just brush out my highlighted powder try to blend it and So, I've never ever tried this, but today I want to try it. I'm gonna use a white eye pencil and line my own eyes. And for this, I'm using a white, and the um, they're from these are from Annabelle Coley eye pencil. I love their eye pencil. is not something I usually do but I want to try something different see how it will look okay. oh. I'm gonna go ahead back in my palette and I'm gonna take a flat brush gonna go and apply some glow in my tear dot I'm using this Miss Rose blush Just gonna go and put down some mascara on the, on the I'm gonna go apply some glow. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hill glow palette. So, 
Cheap bone. Apply some more glue. Chin, chin, chin. Forehead. Bridge of my nose. So guys, I'm going to use these two lipstick from Sephora. So I'm going to go with the lighter shade first. So I want to make my lips a bit bigger. So for that, you have to light over your lip line. like that and I'm gonna give it a couple seconds to dry gonna apply the darker shade and I'm gonna leave it to dry and if you guys didn't notice my lips are bigger so to finish off my look I'm gonna apply some glitters I'm just gonna put a little on my hands my finger and just I don't want a lot I just want a, a little so that's why I'm using my fingers just get the little on there and now this is my finished look it's my purple glam so I will want to show you guys my different lighting effect I got my ring light so that's why I was eager to do my makeup video today and that's the three different lighting effect this one is my favorite so once again I want to thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to like and share and uh, a word of advice just protect yourself from this coronavirus take precaution if um, you feel like you know you're coming down with something um, go to the hospital, take a test, make sure that you're okay, and um, just follow all the precaution that um, your doctor tell you to do. So make sure you wash and sanitize your hand. So you guys take care, be safe, and hope that you enjoy my video today. Thank you guys.